Hey, what is up guys? G here from MJ Tech. Today back at it again with the CF Moto Ibex 800T that I got about three weeks ago approximately. It is an amazing bike all around. I'm telling you guys, I am super in love with this bike and I have tested quite a bunch already. And this one just simply attracted me in every way, not only the looks, but it's also because of the comfort, the power, so on and so forth. Now, when I completed that video, guys, I rode it for about 80, 85 miles approximately to the house from the dealer, and I didn't have any issues. The bike was just fine, no problems whatsoever. But then, after some time off video, of course, I started riding it around the city, and I started getting some MCU failures. So that's the computer inside of the bike. I was getting a message on the display stating that there was an issue with the bike and it was also causing the bike to overheat. So basically there's a software glitch to where the bike doesn't start cooling and I'm talking about the fan specifically after about 206 degrees Fahrenheit which is quite hot already. So of course this was reported to CF Moto and after two weeks and a half they came up with the update guys. This is super exciting. Yes we just got the OTA for this issue, as a matter of fact, if we read here where it says number one, it says optimize radiator fan control logic. Then it says before the upgrade, the motorcycle should be powered on, but not started. Please do not turn off the power or use the motorcycle during the upgrade to avoid upgrade failures. The upgrade is expected to take about five minutes. The motorcycle should be placed where the network is good. So avoid things like basements or other signal interference places, like maybe a garage or something like that. Uh, during the upgrade, turn off the refit. I don't know what that means, but it says and other electrical devices to prevent the upgrade failure caused by excessive power consumption. If the upgrade fails, adjust the motorcycle status and try the upgrade again. If you have any questions, please contact the authorized dealer store nearby. So let's go ahead guys. And of course I have checked this little box where it says have read the above. Let's do the upgrade. And to do this, you have to put the bike on the on position. Make sure that your kill switch is not on and don't turn it on. So let's click on upgrade and uh, let's see, starting upgrade right there. And so I guess we just need to wait a couple of minutes. It says upgrading here at the bottom. Wait a little status animation towards the top. Let's give it a few minutes, guys, and I'll be right back. A few moments later. Awesome news. The update has just finished. As you guys can tell, it says update successful. I did hear that the screen uh, turned off, and then I heard the fuel pump engaging again. But of course, guys, right now it is a little bit late. So let's see what time it is. 10.24 p.m. I live in a townhouse community, so I can't start the bike and leave it on for a while. I'm going to have to ride it and keep you guys posted on a separate video. But this was just so exciting that I had to share it. Um, so, yes, again, we got an update from CF Moto, so you don't have to take it to your dealer. Hopefully, this will resolve all the MCU errors and all the overheatings. Again, it was only caused if you guys were not consistently riding to where the air was constantly flowing through the bike and keeping it cool. It was usually happening if you were riding in like a city or doing consistent stops. So with this being said guys, we have now finished here the quick tutorial on how to update the Ibex 800T slash 800MT. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more, comment, and share. See you later.